So maybe you've started studying for the FE and you're wondering, what's an FE pass even worth? I mean, on the bigger picture, well, is it worth it? Is it worth taking the FE? Is it worth finishing my engineering degree? I mean, I've gotten to the point where I don't even know, like, how much will I make, you know? And maybe you're wondering, well, it doesn't matter if I finish all these problem sets. I mean, we have so many of them, right? And then maybe, do I really even need to study for this next exam I'm gonna be taking? Or you might be thinking, do I really need to take the FE exam? So what I wanna do is I just wanna dive in and take a look at one job posting to show you why passing the FE and taking the FE is worth a lot to you. Just not, not only to get a job, but also to your long-term future. So to do that, we're gonna go take a look at the New York State DOT. And specifically what we're gonna do here is this Google search for engineer trainee New York State DOT. And you can see there's a lot going on here. There's permanent employment, there's career opportunities. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down to one of these job postings for an engineer trainee. That's your first position, kind of right out of the bat, like right after you graduate, you can get an engineer trainee position at the New York State DOT. And all that you need for qualifications, we'll see, is you need to have passed and have a degree in civil engineering, engineering technology, construction, geotechnical, hydraulics, materials, structural, transportation, I'm probably missing somebody, but those are kind of the minimum qualifications that have passed, you know, you're in, in graduated with the degree, or you need to have proof of successful, successful completion of the FE exam. And the cool thing here is if you have both, you have preferred qualifications. So if you've passed the FE and you have some experience, you've, you've done anything along those lines, you will be given preferred. So right off the bat, you have preferred qualifications. And then when we come down a little bit further, you see that engineers train, engineer trainees start at 55,494. So that's not bad. A starting salary of mid 50s. I mean, if you're downstate, you get a downstate adjustment. So you can be 55 to 60 as a starting salary. Not a bad range. I mean, this goes from state agency even to some of the private industries as well. So the question is, well, how does the FE impact that? And if we come down here, what we can see is that uh, if you've completed one year of service and you obtain your FE by the end of the first year, you will advance the title of assistant engineer, right? So you go from engineer training to an assistant engineer, you, you jump up two salary grades, and you end up with a salary of $61,000. $496. So that's not bad. I mean, after one year of service and passing an FE, you get a $6,000 raise. That's over 10% in a raise. And that's enough to do a little bit of a happy dance for. I mean, it's $6,002 every year that you're going to get for the rest of your career because you passed the FE. And there's one other catch in there. Let's go back and take a look at that job posting. Because in the job posting, what we see is if you do not obtain your FE by the end of your second year, you are terminated. That's right. That means terminated. Like you don't have a job anymore. Like you're fired, you're let go, and you have to go do something else. Okay, so that is kind of a big deal. If you don't pass the FE after two years, you have to go find another job. You're no longer going down that engineering path. And honestly, this isn't for everybody, but um, for those of you that want to go down the engineering path and you're terminated, it probably means you're probably not gonna be that happy or you know, kind of sad. So let's just assume for a second that you're gonna put the work in and you're gonna do a great job and go past the FE and you're gonna get that $6,000 raise. Well, what does that look like? What that means is we can set up an engineering economics problem for this right and we can say if you set aside six thousand two dollars every year for retirement and you get an average rate of ten percent the stock market historically has been doing you know uh, ten point seven percent right what this means if you do that for 30 years what this means is you are going to be looking at your future value given a uniform investment so this is an engineering economics problem and the cool thing is you need to know how to do that in the fe so let's just do that problem real quick and see what it's worth to you in real dollars and cents. Well, if we go to the FE reference handbook, we see that we have a future, uh, we want a future given an A. So an F given an A. And what this looks like is we need to know that we want a future value given an, an annual payment. So every year you're making the same payment. You have a, a certain percentage that you're assuming. And we're assuming 10% and we're assuming that you're going to work for at least 30 years. Okay. So if we do those things, we put that $6,000 away every year for 30 years. What does that look like? Well, what it looks like is we have this problem set up. We can go into the FE reference handbook and find the tables that, you know, the, the factor table for the 10% factor or the 10% interest rate given, you know, 30 years, F given A, and we find a factor here of 164.49. That's like 165 and a half. So for every dollar you put in every year, 
So $30 over the course of uh, 30 years. You know, for every $30 you put in over the course of 30 years, you get $164.5 back, which is kind of crazy because if we take $6,002, that raise that you're going to get for passing the FE, remember that? What that means is 6,000 times 164 and a half. What does that get you? It gets you to close to what? A million dollars. That's a lot of money. I mean, if you look at a chart of that, what does that look like? You start with this principle here that in blue and you get all this compound interest over the course of your career. So if you take that $6,000 early and invest it, you will become a millionaire. Can you believe it? Yeah, just because you passed the FE, well, you also worked hard for it, okay? But seriously, the FE pass is worth a lot. And if we go back and we actually put, plug in the 10.7%, you know what we do get? We actually get over a million. So for me to say an FE pass is worth a million dollars, it's not a stretch, okay? That means you can go and do your happy dance. It means your mom can actually get really excited and do a happy dance for you because that FE pass just made you a millionaire. All right, so I hope this gives you a little bit of motivation that the FE is worth it. It's worth putting the time and effort into it. I'm here to try to help you through that process, okay? But what it takes on your part is a lot of hard work, a lot of determination. So until next time, hey, keep up the good work. Keep working hard. Moving onward and upward.